ఈ వీడియోలో మీకు ఎస్ఐపి ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ స్వీట్ ఫ్రీ ట్రైల్ అకౌంట్ ఎలక్ట్ చేయాలో చూపిస్తాను మీరు ఈ ఫ్రీ ట్రైల్ అకౌంట్ని నైంటీ డేస్ వరకు వాడుకోవచ్చు నైంటీ డేస్ తర్వాత అది ఎక్స్పైర్ అయితే మళ్ళీ మీరు తిరిగి వేరే కొత్త అకౌంట్ క్రియేట్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఈ ఫ్రీ ట్రైల్ అకౌంట్ క్రియేట్ చేయాలంటే మీరు డిఫరెంట్ స్టెప్స్ ఫాలో అవ్వాలి అవి ముందుగా మీరు రిజిస్టర్డ్ లాగిన్ అవ్వాలి తర్వాత ఒక సబ్ అకౌంట్ క్రియేట్ చేయాలి తర్వాత ఎస్ఐపి ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ స్వీట్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ క్రియేట్ చేయాలి తర్వాత యూజర్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ చేయాలి అలాగే క్యాబిలిటీస్ని యాడ్ చేయాలి లాస్ట్ వచ్చేసి ఆ క్యాబిలిటీస్ యూజ్ చేయడానికి మీరు యూజర్ యాక్సెస్ రోల్స్ని అసైన్ చేసుకోవాలి ఇలా ఈ సిక్స్ స్టెప్స్ మీరు చేసినట్టయితే మీకు ఎస్ఐపి ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ స్వీట్ ఫ్రీ ట్రైల్ అకౌంట్ రెడీ అవుతుంది మీరు ఈ ఫ్రీ ట్రైల్ అకౌంట్ క్రియేట్ చేయడానికి మీ డిస్క్రిప్షన్లో నుంచి లింక్ని ఫాలో అవ్వండి లెట్స్ గెట్ స్టార్టెడ్ యూనిట్ ఫస్ట్ రిజిస్టర్ అండ్ లాగిన్ టు హానా కాక్పెట్ So now you are in SAP BTP HANA cockpit. So we have these following regions here in services, in notifications and now go to global accounts. Click on trail account. So accept the terms and conditions. So cockpit is now loading. Now select the region where you want to install this instance of SAP integration suite. For now I select Singapore, create account. So it will create a global account, a sub account and an organization and some space. So you can see, trail account, it has a space dev. and click continue now go to now go to trail account okay so we have a 90 days trail period so you can use this account for 90 days and if it gets the commission then you need to create a new one so you can see here so i have a global account under the global account i have a sub account so in the sub account so we have a trial instance that is running on microsoft azure and the region is singapore and it's a multi multi environment so now i want to rename the sub account just to give it a meaningful name maybe um sap integration suite account let's let me do that Click save. So now it's renamed. Go to set account. So you can see all the stickers about set account. It has 64 entitlements and two instances and subscriptions. As I said before, it's running on uh, Microsoft Azure and it's a multi-environment setup. So you can see what is a Cloud Foundry environment, what is Kima environment, what are other entitlements that you can use. So you can now find all the details here. So now go to Cloud Foundry and Spaces. Let's see what kind of space we have allocated here. So we have a uh, 4GB space available in terms of memory. And we have around uh, total 400 services available. So you can also have a look at the organization members. So I have an organization manager here. You can have multiple mem members here. 
like an organization member or auditor. So I don't want to add anything here. Cancel. So now we have logged in and now we created the sub account. Now the third step. So we are going to add an integration suite instance. So go to instance subscriptions. So as you can see here, uh, SAP has already installed something called SAP Business Application Studio for me. Now I'm going to add uh, SAP Integration Suite instance. Now click create and then uh, find uh, SAP uh, Integration Suite. Yeah. Then uh, plan is trail. Then uh, create. So it's going to create all the infrastructure in the background. Now you can see it's processing. And now, you can see further details here. So go to users, because I need to add the users and the permissions here. It's called the user access management for integration suite. So go to users. Now you can create or add SN roles. Basically, I'm adding a role called integration provisioner because that's necessary for accessing integration suite. So we have these two roles now at the moment. Now go back to instance and subscriptions. So now integration suite is ready and uh, click on open application, go to application. And now we need to have the fifth step. So now we need to add capabilities. As you can see, uh, it's saying that uh, you don't, you haven't added any capabilities. So now let me add the capabilities here. Click on add capabilities. So now add all the capabilities because we want to try all the features. So after you select everything, click on next. So, so it's a trail account, click on next. Just keep it as it is. Uh, maybe I'll use this uh, enable API business API. Okay, let me do that and activate. So it's going to activate all the components for you in the background that you need. So cloud integration, API management. So yeah, it's now going to activate everything which are in progress at the moment. Now you can see there's nothing avail available at the moment. Now I need to go back to the uh, access management because I need to add the roles necessary for accessing the capabilities. So now I go to the uh, roles again. Uh, so this is the strong integration. And now go to the uh, users. And click on the user. Then here you can add SN roles collection. Now I'm going to add the uh, roles for uh, capabilities like PI, API and Open Connector. So search for PA underscore. So you add this PA administrator, PA business expert, business integration developer. Then I would also need uh, roles for API management. So let me search for API management. So you see API management uh, roles, these two. Now I need finally, uh, I probably for open characters. So let me see, uh, not integration. Uh, no, I think not integration. So let me find it for uh, open characters. Yeah, so this open characters user. So click on this. So now I send all the roles necessary for my uh, integration suite development. So yes, that's it. So PI administrator, integration developer, business expert, API administrators, and open connectors. So now click on OK. So now the roles have been assigned to the user. 
So let me uh, go back to everything is done now here. So close it and let me go back to um, the services subscriptions. Yeah, instance subscriptions. Yeah, now here I'll try to go back to the integration suite, open the application. Okay. Now you should be able to see all the capabilities enabled. Now you see on the left hand panel, we can see all the stuff enabled for you. So discover, so discover, design, test, configuration, monitor, settings. So now everything is set up for you and your uh, free trail uh, SAP integration suite is available. Now you can start building integrations. I hope you managed to uh, create your own account. So, my friend, SAP integration suite, retail account, the PHS run for now. So, when the PHS net is there, now you can retail account use as a SAP integration suite integration scenario is in the practice here. Thank you for watching.